Hello, my name is Tony Baca, the Senior Vice President of Safety at Berglund Construction Company. This week's Safety Toolbox Talk is on an acronym that our insurance captive developed years ago, and it's called SIF, S-I-F. It stands for Serious Injury or Fatality. The reason I bring this up is I just finished a captive three-day workshop and this acronym and this explanation came back up in volume. Let me read you this small highlighted line item on our weekly text portion of our safety talk and it goes like this. We have been under the belief that if minor injuries are reduced, then the serious ones will be reduced too. Unfortunately, the construction industry, that is not the case. What we're coming across is we appear to have a better safety performance as a captive, and there's 41 contractors in our captive. But unfortunately, in the past few work seasons, we've had more fatalities. Some of those fatalities are part of fleet programs with companies where the driver gets into an accident and or a work zone vehicular lane is obstructed by someone that might be uh, loss of attention while driving whatever they might be doing and I don't want to lead to anything that they might be doing there but our people are being struck and killed we're getting in accidents we're having accidents when you look at observations on a job site and you see an individual using an eight-foot step ladder and he's standing on the very top rung it's an unsafe observation could that be considered a serious injury that could lead to a fatality in your mind. If the man, tradesperson, fell backwards, striking his head on the concrete, could that potentially take his life or maim him for life? It might not look like what we call a SIF, but in reality it is. There's no doubt that falls in the construction industry are the number one um, fatality exposure. So leading edge, hole covers and floors that are not adequate to hold weight. We all know that falls are the number one killer in construction, but there's an awful lot of low hanging fruit out there that we're seeing on our job sites that could also create a serious injury or fatality. This could be a simple power tool that you're using that's missing a ground prong and you're dragging this thing across wet conditions and oh and using this power tool and you get electrocuted electricity can stop the heart and the only thing that can get the heart back pumping is an aed if you have one in your pocket or gang box there's a lot to be said about sifts out there Berglund has developed a few things. We, we do safety audits. We do safety huddles. We do pre-construction safety meetings. We talk about the jobs. We talk about the tasks. We talk about engineering controls, all to prevent an injury, an accident that might end up being a SIF. So collectively here at Berglund, whether you're management, you're a superintendent, a foreman, a safety director, a quality director. All of us are responsible for safety for ourselves, but we're also responsible for the safety of the others that are working with us. So I'm asking all of you to step up. If you see something, say something, and let's eliminate these potential exposures that can take a fellow tradesperson's life. Let's discuss this this morning in our safety huddles. Let's have a safe day and let's have a safe week. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.